Hey everyone, this is Kalyan Kumar and welcome once again to the videos on IUPAC nomenclature of organic compounds. And today's video is about cyclic amines. We already seen amines and now we are going to look at cyclic amines. That means amines present as a part of the ring or probably even outside the ring. So first we would look at the situation when the cyclic ring the ring part and the amine part are separate so the amine is outside the ring now in this particular case what we're going to do the naming is pretty simple this is the cycloalkane and add the word amine to it and remove the last e vowel so cycloalkane amine and this is the parent name and then any substituents, anything that you have, you need to uh, have it before this. These are the prefixes. And if there are double bonds, it will be alkenamine, triple bond alkynamine and so on. So let's check the first rule here. When naming a cyclic structure, the NH2 is assumed to be the first carbon unless other functional groups having higher priorities exist. So obviously the alpha carbon of uh, the amine has to be the number one. The cyclic amines are then named by replacing the E of the cycloalkane with the suffix amine. So let's get some examples. As usual, pause the video, name it and then play it back to check your answer. So what do you think would be the name of this one? It's a cyclopentane, ananamine, remove the last E, cyclo pentenamine next one how do you do the numbering name it first and then check the answer the numbering always will have to begin here the alpha carbon that's number one and then it you try to give the local numbers of the multiple bonds the lowest possible number so in this case i'm going to go clockwise one, two, three, four, five. That is the numbering here. And if this is the numbering, then what would be the name of this molecule? Well, it's 2-ethyl-4-methyl-cyclopent-3-N-amine. 2-ethyl, 4-methyl, cyclopent, 3-N amine. Now let's check the other molecule now. So there is a substitution on N. Remember, N substitutions will always be in the beginning. So you have N-ethyl, N-methyl. Now this is 1. Which one do you think should be 2? The This atom or this atom obviously the left one the multiple bond should get the lower number so the numbering is done this way so it's n ethyl n methyl cyclohex hexa two four oh no i think you need to start with six methyl so it's n ethyl n methyl six methyl Cyclohexa 2 4 diene diene amine. N ethyl, N methyl, 6 methyl, cyclohexa 2 4 diene amine. So, this is the situation when the nitrogen is outside the ring. Now, let's figure out what will happen if the nitrogen happens to be part of the ring. If the nitrogen is part of the ring, we name it just like we would name ethers. If you remember cyclic ethers, you can go back and check the video of cyclic ethers. Whenever the oxygen formed part of the ring, we used to call this as oxa. Similarly, we call this as eza. And if you remember in the case of cyclic ethers, this was given one and then the numbering done accordingly. The same rule applies here. This is numbered one. 
and in the case of cyclic ethers we used to call it oxa cyclo alkane here is going to be aza cyclo alkane so rule number 2 says if nitrogen happens to be a part of the ring then it is numbered as 1 and it is indicated by the prefix aza before the name of the cyclo alkane without mentioning its position number unless higher priority functional groups are present so you really you really don't have to uh, say the word one again and again the third point says any substituent on nitrogen is mentioned before all the prefixes so let's get going what do you name this one pause name it and play it back this is aza cyclopropane this one same logic aza cyclopentane this one n methyl and how do you do the numbering 1 2 3 4 5 you can do it clockwise also it means the same thing n methyl cyclopenta 2 4diene diene um, uh, See, of course this is this is aza remember so it's n methyl aza 24 diene uh, 24 diene n methyl aza cyclopenta 24 diene try this one numbering it's N methyl, five methyl, aza, cyclopent, two in. N methyl, five methyl, aza, cyclopent, two in. So this is the way we name cyclic amines. I hope this video helps you in understanding the naming of cyclic amines. If you have any questions or any queries, drop in. these at the comment section below thanks for watching the video